Hi everybody, this is Neo from WinningGalaxyEmpire.com, the only place to get accurate and up-to-date information on Galaxy Empire. I uh, wanted to give you guys an extra special video today. Uh, this is GEF, we get a ton of requests about this, but since this one just started, I wanted to hurry up and get this video out. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have some background noise because my kids are still awake. So, uh, let's just bear uh, bear with me and uh, see how far we can get. So. Um, the GEF actually just started here about seven minutes ago, so I want to log it in and show you guys exactly uh, you know some of the windows that you can see now. First off, we're on this area down here. As you can see, you have Battle Force members, which our alliance has 38 of 50 unlocked. And uh, if you were to push this button, you're actually going to unlock another slot and turn it up to uh, 39 out of 50. Um, this is where you assign your mission leaders. Right now, we have nobody assigned. All you have to do is push that and then choose somebody and you can't necessarily hit confirm because it won't necessarily work but you gotta slide it around a little bit and then hit confirm for the for them to take and sometimes you gotta try a couple times um, once you've assigned your mission leaders or before you assign your mission leaders actually it makes sense to come into the battle and see how strong the enemy is now with this being the uh, very first battle usually uh, this enemy will have a very weak defense uh, only thing that really matters is your attack and the enemy's defense now we can see here that we've got uh, you know, a few enemies. Uh, we're just missing one, so we're gonna go through this here. The first one is always a really strong enemy, and usually you avoid attacking this one. Second one is usually fairly strong, not quite as strong as the first one. This one right here with the lava on the planet is what we typically call lava, and uh, this one is, is the one that gives the maximum number of points. Um, if you are able to attack this one and win, this is the one that you wanna do it on. Um, this one here is the Elite Galaxy Expeditionary Force, so this is the Elite GEF enemy. Uh, this one is exceptionally strong and does not give any more points. Uh, it actually gives fewer points than the Lava Planet does, so this is not really one that you're interested in attacking. There is this little hand down here where uh, it's asking for assistance. You can get your allies to join in. Uh, that costs money. We don't necessarily coin in our alliance, so that's not really uh, something that we're able to, to go into detail on about. And this last one is the Shadow of Power. Now, this is always a really weak enemy. If you attack this enemy and win, you're going to increase one of your two statistics down here, the attack or the defense. Now, of course, we know your defense really doesn't matter. It's only your attack. I can attack any enemy that has a much higher attack than my defense, and I will win as long as my attack is, is larger than their, their defense. 99.9% .9 of the time. There is an occasion where you will have a higher attack than their defense and still lose. It's very rare, very, very rare. I think it's probably happened to me about four times uh, in all the GEFs that we've been in, uh, so it doesn't happen very often. Now, this Shadow of Power buff that you get will go up by 5% on one of these each time up until 100%. At 100%, it's maxed out, and you won't get any more of a buff from you know whichever one that is. So uh, you could get, and it's random which one it chooses, sometimes you can get lucky and get four in a row and have plus 20% here and 0% there. Um, but if it goes the other way, you could get all the way up to plus 100% here, and then maybe say you've got 60% here, and you're still getting the defense, and it won't go up. You won't see either of them go up any higher, and that's because it would have been defense, and the defense was already capped out. Now, the last thing I want to uh, go over here in this one is the winning streak. Now, if you were to attack and get a win, then you get a win streak. And as you have a higher win streak, you actually increase the number of points you earn. So you can get up to double the number of points, by having a win streak of 20 or higher. At 20, the, the increase stops and that stops at double. Um, but as long as you keep having that win streak, it'll keep scoring double each time. So between one and 20, your uh, percentage of points that you earn will go up uh, linearly. So uh, along, a, along a scale, along a line, um, uh, up until that double at 20. Um, another fun trick is if you were to attack once and win and then go and leave for a while, Anytime the GEF responds with an attack to you, which you don't actually see anywhere, except for whenever you go into this battle log, um, anytime that the GEF responds to you and hits you back, you get a win, even if you lose. It'll, it'll put another win here. So that's a little bit of a glitch. That's a good thing for those who just want to get a quick win in against, say, Shadow at the very beginning with an alt, and then let your uh, energy accumulate while you're off doing other stuff. Come back, you've got a win streak of 20, now you're scoring double points for everything. So um, that's a, a really fun uh, little glitch that we can take advantage of right now. Um, so as far as the basics of how the point scoring works, 
each of these enemies, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then a weak enemy, which has like a little bit of a blue background that'll show up between these two here when it does show up, if it shows up. And this one doesn't show up every time either, by the way. Um, but when they show up, um, they'll have a range for points. This one is about mid-range, and this one is about the same. Uh, this one has a, a base level, I would say, um, if you were to have a streak of 20, which gives you double points, and if you were to also be the battle leader, which also gives you double points, you can score almost 800 points if you're the largest player in your alliance. Um, so that would make the, this base range uh, capping at 200, so it would probably be like 150 to 200 or 175 to 200, something like that. Um, this one right here, the Shadow of Power, its base is 40 and the max is 40, and it never increases with, uh, with a streak. It does increase with the battle leader, I believe. So your battle leader can send it up double, yeah, up to 75. Um, so if you have battle leader, you can get 75 rather than just the 40. Um, so if you're not the largest player in the alliance, as you decrease in power to the uh, the weaker members, the number of points that you can earn also decreases. So like the weakest person in your alliance will earn a base number for this rather than a bonus number and I think that number goes down to probably 40. Um, so if you were to be 40 and you have a win streak of 20 and you were to be battle leader and you were the weakest person in the alliance you could probably score a maximum of uh, 160 points here and that's an estimate. So if you were in the middle um, you know you'd be scoring halfway between 160 and, and 800 which is what the, the largest player can learn. So if I haven't confused confused you yet, um, we'll just go ahead and skip these two because they really don't matter. You're not going to be attacking them. And then uh, explain a little bit more about that weak enemy that pops up in here. Now what I've noticed, and this is not necessarily set in stone, is that there will be five different levels of strength by the weak enemy and it's going to be based on somebody in your alliance. Um, so let's say uh, occasionally the weak enemy comes in with 220 million power. That would be on the high for our alliance. And then uh, the next time it would come in with 80 million power. And then the time after that, 130 million power. And then 35 million power. And then 10 million power. Those are going to be the only five power ranges that it comes in at. And it'll be give or take a little bit. Um, but you'll, you'll be able to manage who is going to go in as the battle leader to attack that weak enemy based on that power level. So if it were to come in at 10, you'd obviously want your weakest alts to go ahead and go in against it and, uh, and use up their 1,000 energy bar if they're close to full. Uh, rather than send in your strongest person up against that because he's going to be able to score against the lava and score a greater number of points anytime, even when that weak enemy isn't in. So when that weak enemy is in, that's actually really big news for the weaker members of the alliance because it gives them a chance to really score a lot of points for the alliance um, to get that battle leader assignment and go ahead and, and you know use a full bar of a thousand and also to get a bunch of wins in for their ships and for their awards. So uh, using this method our alliance has managed to score in the top 50 uh, the last two times and we haven't been coining so uh, top 50 of all server so that's been pretty good. Um, the time before that we did coin and that was before it went to this thousand bar and we got in the top hundred. Uh, so you know we've been doing fairly well here in the uh, in the GEF, um, but uh, you know now that they've increased it to this thousand point bar, that's really good. So I guess one more thing we want to go over is increasing your points. If you're to hit this and you want to go ahead and spend credits to do an extra hundred or an extra thousand, there is an award that you can get, and it's important to know that this uh, purchase energy one time, 10 times, 50 times, if you purchase the 1,000 energy, it only counts as one. If you purchase the 100 energy, it counts as one. So just keep that in mind whenever you're deciding whether or not you want to go ahead and purchase things. Um, anyways, here's a bunch of other rewards. You guys always want to try to earn this stuff, but uh, make sure you redeem these every day before um, you know the 24-hour mark because these first page daily tasks ones, they delete and they reset, and your alliance task ones will uh, stay the whole time. So you can redeem those after the event, but you have to redeem the daily ones each day. And uh, you know the GEF's gonna run for four days. Um, winning or losing doesn't affect your fleet at all, uh, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, one strategy you wanna be wary of is you know, you're uh, creating your ships. If you were to create your ships during the GEF, uh, you might actually increase the power of the GEF and other people can't go in. So definitely the most powerful should not be building their ships and increasing their power, but maybe the weaker members can. We haven't experimented with this too much. Hopefully uh, we're going to be doing that this time. 
um, if I can pull everybody together and I'll let you guys know what happens there. So um, with that, that's about the end of the video. We're going to hit this for about 10 minutes. So that's good. Um, again, it's Neo with WinningGalaxyEmpire.com. Definitely, uh, you know, subscribe to the uh, to the channel or subscribe to the blog so that way you guys can get the updates. Uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think of this. If you guys have any questions, definitely like doing more of these tutorials to help you guys out and uh, trying to explain some stuff. If you have some questions about the points, uh, throw it in comments and, and we'll address it later. So, all right, signing out. See you guys later.